Colleges and universities are grappling with the question of whether to resume classes in the fall or to have some in person, some distance. The University of Arizona says it has a plan to test, trace, and treat its students and staff as it resumes in-person classes in the fall. For more, I'm joined by Dr. Robert Robbins, president of the University of Arizona. Uh, Dr. Robbins, good afternoon. Good afternoon, John. Thanks for inviting me on your program. Uh, great to have you. So, University of Arizona, uh, on the upper end, as far as the number of students who you have, tell me, how long were you developing this plan? How much of it involves really having all the students on campus? How many do you expect to remain distanced? Well, we started making the plan to uh, for reentry once we uh, got into this term and saw how our online and distance learning would work. We, we made that decision back in uh, mid-March. Uh, and we knew that uh, that the students wanted to come back. I was hearing from all of our students as I went around. They were on spring break. They had to come back, get their belongings, and go back uh, home to shelter in place. Right. And I, you know, was talking to them and and have heard from many of them directly uh, from their parents, from our alumni that uh, they sought to have that on campus experience. So we've got a total of forty five thousand students. We're not really sure how many will come back. Uh, it'll look very different. We're about 110 days out from uh, opening our fall term, but uh, we've got plans, as you uh, rightly uh, outlined, our 3T program, uh, testing, tracing, and treating our students. Uh, and we think that uh, although it won't be obviously 100% safe, uh, we wanna try to make it uh, as safe as possible uh, for our students, our faculty, and our staff to return right. to semi-normal activities. Of course, there'll be a lot of social distancing, people wearing masks, uh, and it'll me, be a hybrid approach. Tell me, Dr. Robbins, about the uh, frequency of testing, because I assume you're not going to just test once and then that's it, uh, because you got people out in the community interacting with people who aren't students, all kinds of things, and the frequency of cleaning, uh, because even though a lot of students aren't in a high risk category, I imagine a lot of your faculty, a lot of your staff are. Yeah, so that's a very good point. Uh, we've got two different modalities. I think you probably know we early on uh, developed our own test kits uh, because we didn't want to be at the end of the supply chain. And uh, that was for viral testing. And we developed a, a very highly accurate uh, antibody test. So we're offering that antibody test to all uh, 60,000 members of our family, uh, students, faculty, and staff. And then the, the algorithm we're developing for uh, testing for viral uh, uh, load is, uh, it will be uh, for all symptomatic patients, of course, for mm -hmm. all symptomatic students or members of our community. And then we're, we're going to have, uh, looking for hot spots, we'll use um, contact tracing, uh, we'll actually use wow. uh, 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 effluence from building the, um, to look to see if we can determine that there may be a hot spot before anybody becomes symptomatic or sick. I, I want to ask you also, um, be, being the kind of school you are, about sports. It's important from a cultural perspective. It's important for a revenue perspective. I believe you've said anticipated losses in revenue over the 15 months through June 2021 are $250 million. But what's going to happen with sports if they are going to come back in the fall in just over 100 days? I imagine you've got to have preparations for that happening right now. Will they come back at any point you expect to have uh, crowds in stands? Yeah, that's a really good point. And I, you know, I got uh, on the on the homepage of ESPN, fortunately or unfortunately, on the day of the NFL draft saying, in my gut, I don't see people in Arizona Stadium or our stadiums around college football. Uh, since then, uh, I, I've gotten more information from our conferences and the NCAA. I, I think there's a plan to try to play games. It'll probably be a reduced uh, schedule, may start a little later. But I, I don't think it will be with uh, uh, with people in the in the in the stands. Um, we're watching what's going on with the PGA Tour, NASCAR, NFL is supposed to make a big announcement. Um, but but the first thing that has to happen is the campuses have got to invite students back, which we plan to do. And we're working uh, with our sports teams. I think you'll see them uh, come back, and there'll probably be some uh, activities and games played this fall. 
but probably uh, initially slowly ramping into no fans initially, and then we'll just have to see how the public health uh, barometers that we're using to monitor, the, monitor this uh, work out for us.